Welcome children and families to this time of worship and learning and exploration. We are heading into week three of our children's ministry together at home, special lessons on gratitude. We are so happy that you are here with us today. It's important to prepare your space to be present. Clear your mind and space of distractions and take a deep welcoming breath, finding your calm center. Can we do it together? Welcome to this time of worship. This space is created just for you. However you come, whomever you are, and however you feel, you are welcome here. If you have one, I have a couple, okay, candles. Maybe you have some like this at home. Maybe you have bigger ones. Sometimes you can get those LED ones where you don't need um, a parent's help to turn them on, or you could have a flashlight. If you have a candle and an adult close by, safely light it with me. We light this candle to let God's love into our hearts. Let this light fill your space as a reminder that's God, that God's love is with us always. Amen. Why don't we open in a word of prayer? Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for my parents. Thank you for my teachers. Thank you for my family and friends. And thank you for this day that you have given us. We look forward to learning more about you this day. Amen. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm so glad that you're with me today. You know, the Bible has a lot of great stories. Half of them are in the Old Testament. And those are stories from before Jesus was born. The other side is the New Testament, and those tell stories about Jesus. Our story today is from the New Testament, and it's called Jesus and the Ten Lepers. But the most important thing about this story is its message of saying thank you. Before I get started, you really need to know what a leper is. A leper is someone who has leprosy, and that's a skin disease where your body and your face and your head is covered with sores and, and scabs and things like that. It's not very fun at all. In Jesus' time, there was no medicine to cure leprosy, but today there are antibiotics, so no one has to live with leprosy. So our story starts with Jesus. He's on his way to Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, and he's passing through a village, and he comes across 10 lepers in the distance. Now, something again you need to be aware of is that no one would ever, ever approach lepers. In fact, if you saw a leper in Jesus' time, you would run in the other direction. But Jesus wasn't like that. He was very different. He was always talking about caring for your neighbor and loving one another. So he approached the 10 men. And when they saw him, they knew that this was Jesus. They'd heard all about this man who was traveling through the land, preaching kindness and caring. And so they approached him and they raised their hands up and they said to Jesus, Master, teacher, have pity on us, have pity on us. And Jesus looked at them and he said, I want you to go to the temple and I want you to show yourselves to the priests. What that means is he wanted them to go to the church and he wanted them to talk to the leaders of the church. And that's exactly what they did. They went to the church, but on the way to the church, they started looking at themselves and they realized that the leprosy had gone. But one of the men of the 10 decided to turn around and go back to Jesus. He went all the way back, and when he found Jesus, he said, Master, teacher, 
thank you so much. Thank you for healing me. And Jesus said, thank you, you're welcome. But where are the other 10 that were with you? Now here's where you need to know something. The person that came back to talk to Jesus, well, he was a Samaritan. And Samaritans and Jewish people, Jesus was a Jew, the man who came back was a Samaritan. They didn't like each other at all. They were enemies of the worst kind. But here you have Jesus healing a Samaritan and a Samaritan coming back to say thank you. So Jesus was saying to us the importance of saying thank you no matter who, no matter what. God wants us to be thankful for the things that we have, for who we are, and for each other. You know, last week I was watching TV and I saw a person with sign language, talking with sign language, and they said thank you. And this is how they did it. Thank you. Can you try that? Just take your hand and put it up to your chin. Thank you. So I want to for being with me today. Remember, saying thank you is a good thing, so that means it's a God thing too. Hi everybody. So I've got a little craft here to help you remember the story of 10 men healed. So it's just a simple poster. Um, and you can just take any paper that you have at home and then uh, trace your hands on another piece of paper. You can use white or doesn't matter what color you can you use. Um, and then I just drew on all 10 fingers, um, some little smiley faces and all different col colors of hair. I've got blonde and black and red and brown. Um, and we know that only one man said thank you to Jesus. So that's what I've written there. So thank you on the, for the one person. And then I just did some printing on there. So Jesus healed 10 men. Only one said thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for healing. So just a simple little poster to help you remember the story.